everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog Ooh. so apologies that i haven't been in any vlogs for the past week or so i just had a really 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 busy week at work so i decided to take a week off and now i'm really excited to be back vlogging and we have an exciting day today but all ready <laughs> and we are off to our wedding venue um, because we are going to go for a wedding meeting uh, with the lady that's going to be kind of like our wedding planner for the day. Because there's not long. Yeah, not long at all. So it's all gearing up now. Um, we're just waiting as well for the announcement. Yeah, just waiting for the announcement. Keeping positive, but we will see but we're going to carry on go to the wedding meeting and then later on i also have a dress fitting so lots of wedding stuff happening today So we've just arrived at the venue. So exciting. We probably won't film the meeting um, just because we'll be doing lots of chatting. But is everyone excited? <laughs> <laughs> just stopped for some drinks after our meeting <laughs> and we have this amazing view it is the next day i do apologize i think the last thing i filmed was a little bit of a montage at the gardens and then the day just completely ran away with us um, it was a really busy but really good day which i'm gonna chat about now um, if you hear some typing martin is just to my right mm. he is working today that was him did you hear him <laughs> um, but he said he doesn't mind me filming the vlog here but yeah i think the last thing i filmed was us at the gardens so we visited the gardens we had our wedding meeting with our wedding planner there and it was so so good it was really great just to sit down and go through everything point by point um it also was a good checklist for us to see where we're at and what else we need to do and it was so lovely to see the gardens in the sunshine full bloom it looked absolutely beautiful and we had a walk around and we had a drink afterwards and it just got us really excited and yeah it was just the best day it was really lovely to visit it as well because at the moment they have opened it up as a restaurant until the wedding season starts so it's nice to see it as a restaurant and it looks really 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 nice it'd be really nice to go and eat there one day or maybe like next year for our anniversary or something it would be really nice but yeah we had our wedding meeting and then we drove back to my parents and then i went for my first dress fitting which again i was a little nervous about because i had to go on my own i wasn't allowed anyone with me so i was a little bit like oh it's the first time i've seen the dress in over a year and a half and obviously i won't say too much because i don't want to give too much away but i had to bring my wedding shoes and then it was all fitted perfectly to me and it was just so lovely to put it on again and just feel like a bride um so yeah i had the dress fitting that all went well and then we just went back to my parents and had a lovely evening doing a little bit more wedding planning this morning I've been sorting out the evening guests because um, that's kind of next on our to-do list. 
um, a lot of people for the day have replied so we can sort out the day um, but then we have quite a few people that we would love um, to come in the evening so I've been sending out messages and sorting out the spreadsheet for that and it's just getting so close I also wanted to mention on this vlog because obviously we're really excited and we feel like stuff's moving ahead and we're of course planning that it can go ahead as normal um, but I did just want to say on the vlog that obviously in the back of our minds we still have the announcement coming up about whether restrictions can be lifted and I just wanted to send out a huge shout out to everyone really but especially couples that are waiting for their wedding still and also anyone that works in the wedding industry because it is a really tough time still because it's really hard to plan a wedding with so much uncertainty around and even though we're both really excited I think I can speak for Martin as well there's just like this slight little like niggling thought at the back of our heads um waiting to see what's going to happen so it is still a really tough time in regards to planning stuff but we're just keeping hopeful, we're going to wait and see what happens and keep planning as if it's going to go ahead how we want it and then if things have to change we will cross that bridge uh, when we come to it but I do know that people have weddings before us and they're still not even sure how many people they can have and you know all stuff like that that's really hard, hard to plan and hard to you know get excited. So yeah, I did want to say that as well, um, because of course that has been playing on our minds. But other than that, it's all it's all good. So I think that's you all up to speed. I hope you enjoyed the little montage of the gardens and you liked having a little look at the venue. It's so beautiful and every time we visit, I'm just so happy that we chose there. It's just the perfect venue for us. It feels like home as well. So yeah I think that's it today I am having a relaxing day it's a day off work and I've been pretty busy with half term I was working quite long hours last week and um, that was why I missed out a few vlogs as well so it would be really nice to just relax today and then later on I have a dentist appointment because I am getting some dental work done so I wanted to update you all on that as well just in case you're interested um, but I am having my teeth whitened and also fixing this front veneer so I've been whitening my teeth for two weeks now and I wanted to show you the difference so I'm getting this front veneer changed to match the other teeth but right now if you can see I have whitened these ones and then it's quite good even though I have a very uneven smile it's good to see the difference so this veneer is going to be changed and also I'm going to get composite bonding on the side here and then it should all be complete so today I'm going to go for an appointment where they're going to take this veneer off I'm then going to have a temporary veneer for two weeks whilst my actual veneer is made then that will be added composite bonding on the side and then my smile will be done i'm really really excited and i'm i'm really pleased with the whitening and um it's actually been quite good even though i've been a bit self-conscious that this tooth is a different color it's actually been quite good to see the difference as you can really tell now that the whitening has worked on my actual teeth so yeah I'm excited for that all to be done it will officially all be done in about two three weeks time so I'll show you a little before and after because um, the dentist has taken a before and after photo as well so that will be good to see the difference completely but yeah I think I have just rambled at you for a long time <laughs> um, so I will see you in a bit so I've just popped on some clothes to go into town. I'm going to meet my friend Claire and do a little bit of shopping, um, mostly window shopping, but I do want to see if I can find a nice pair of denim high-waisted shorts just because it's so hot now and the shorts that I have 
um, are really old and I just want a new pair for summer. So I'm gonna have a little look in H&M and Zara. So yeah, it looks like a really nice sunny day. So just gonna head out and have a little mooch around town. I'll bring the camera, um, but sometimes I find it really difficult to vlog in shops just because they're quite busy and I always feel a bit like I don't wanna film other people. Um, but I'll bring you and if I manage to get a few shots, I'll insert them now. do a little H&M haul. I had to pick up a few bits for summer so I thought I would do a little haul. So the first thing I picked up was this bralette and it's really comfortable. I think it just comes in yeah so sizes. So I picked it up in a size 8 it was $12.99 and yeah it's just really comfortable great for summer. I then picked up some paper bag shorts and I was actually looking for these. That was the main reason that I went out shopping was because I really wanted some paper bag denim shorts and they had them. So these were $17.99. I picked them up in a size small or a size, yeah, a size small. And they fit really well they're really comfortable and they're really nice like soft stretchy material and yeah i really really like them i then picked up a little summer top it's a plain white one with buttons down the front and then it also has a little tie around the waist and this is perfect to wear with the denim shorts and this was 9.99 Again, I picked it up in a small and also it has adjustable straps, which is good. Um, but then I picked up this linen, colourful, floral, baggy top, which I just really loved. I love the design. I love how bright it is. And yeah, I just think it'll be perfect to throw on during summer. So this was... $17.99 and I picked it up in a small as well um, but it's very baggy very oversized I then picked up another pair of shorts these are the mum shorts ultra high waist and these were so comfortable and um, they were very high waisted and also really stretchy and really comfortable for denim shorts because sometimes denim shorts can be quite uncomfortable but these were really good they were $17.99 and I picked these up in a size 8 and I really, really like them. And then lastly, I just picked up some plain tops to wear. So this was $6.99, picked it up in a small and it's just this very soft cami top which I can just wear with shorts or jeans. And then I also picked up this beautiful, I love the colour, it's a lilac t-shirt I picked it up in a size small and it was $3.99 H&M basics they do loads of different color t-shirts but the material felt really nice and soft and I just really like the color I thought it was a really pretty pastel color for summer so that is it that is my little summer H&M haul if I do film a reel um, it will be on my Instagram um, so maybe go check that out if you want to see them on but yeah I was really pleased it was really nice to have a little look actually around the shop I've been doing most of my shopping online because of lockdown so it was nice to actually go to a shop and be able to try it all on in the dressing room and yeah very very pleased and I'm all set for summer now so hopefully the weather stays nice <laughs> so I am back from the dentist so I have had my temporary veneer 
put in and I'm just so pleased. I'm still a little bit numb um, so it feels really weird to talk um, but I'm really pleased. I have this one in for two to three weeks and then my actual veneer will be ready but even having this one in I'm so pleased with the whitening yay because it just matches a lot better than the one I had before so yeah feeling very pleased it was a long long um dentist appointment a lot of drilling <laughs> I think I was in the seat for about an hour and 15 minutes and yeah I couldn't feel a thing because I was completely numb but it was a long time and it's just so loud like the drilling and um it's just uncomfortable but it was 100% worth it and yeah very very happy so far so then I just have one more appointment to change hello this one also get composite bonding on this one because it's a little discoloured but apart from that they're looking quite white and good aren't they yeah yeah Gone, gone really well. Yeah. I very messed pleased. up the gusto. Oh, uh, we're making burgers tonight. They were meant to be chicken nugget type things, but I, I messed <laughs> up the sauce thing. Oh it was no. meant, you were meant. To, I did the two stages in one, and it didn't. It didn't turn out well. It didn't turn out well. It's oh, okay. We're still having chicken burgers. We're though. still having chicken we're still burgers. Still having chicken burgers and chips. <laughs> and we were going to watch Raya tonight, but. I think we've run out of time because it's half eight now <laughs> we and we've got, got quite a long list of things to do. We've got a huge list of things, yeah. <laughs> but we will end this vlog here because we need to get it edited and yes. up for you all. But I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Toodle pipskies.